Yo guys, so as you guys know, I've been on a hunt for a new car and I think that today might just be the day that I finally pull the trigger. So there is a few things that I do need to arrange before I can go in. So please keep your guys fingers crossed. Surprise! Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you guys can see, we are sitting in a different car to mine. The reason for that is we plan on doing another bowl series. alongside Dane. As you guys know, Dane does assist me with a lot of my builds as well as a lot of my customers like installing parts of color matching etc. As you guys can see by the seats, this is an FN2 Type R. So yeah, before we actually do climb out of the car, I do want to let you guys know that this is a car that has already featured in the channel and I have assisted the specific guy with few parts etc. We always remain in contact and that's pretty much how business business works basically stay in contact with a person and you can obviously continuously help them squat, squat, squat. in this specific occasion this customer now wants to do a full color change on his FN2 type R so his car is currently actually uh, night or black and the plans is to spray it championship white so that is going to be insane and I can't wait to actually start with this car like you guys have seen in a prior video we did a on the EK V16 VTEC a red one we pretty much sprayed the whole car it was kind of a color change it was red but just in a different red however we did go to the extent of obviously removing all the windows and the same will be done with this car as you guys know the FN2 are now the new EKs in today's life I would say. Without further ado, let's climb outside the car and show you what the car looks like. Okay guys, so it is pretty windy so just bear with me. Probably give it to you on Tuesday. Anyway, this is the car. Like I mentioned, it is an FN2 Type R in Nighthawk Black. So to my understanding, Nighthawk Black does have a slight loophole into it. As you guys can see, it has a front lip as well as a seat going. So in a prior video, um, you guys actually saw us install the seat going. That is something we supplied and fitted for you as well. So yeah, this is pretty much the car in a nutshell. Car is straight, no accident damage. So it pretty much seems like it will be a straightforward job. It's obviously going to be time consuming because windows have to be removed, etc. As you can see, there's a lot of stone chips. And then I think they did mention that here's a rust spot over here. The red FN2s and the black FN2s are not known as championship. One of the reasons are the year model as well as the championships actually came out with LSD. I think they came out with parking assist and then mirrors fold. These are a few things that I may be leaving out as well. If I am leaving it out, just maybe mention it in the comment section. I do know that some people refer to the black and red FN2s as championship edition if there are certain model as well and as you guys know championship white comes from honda's f1 car that's where the color comes from as well so that is where the championship name originates from so another thing i want to touch base on we're not removing the engine we're actually going to leave the engine by black because obviously it will be easier i think it will work out cheaper as well and to be honest with you if the engine bay is black it won't be that noticeable through the lines because it obviously will be black on the inside okay guys plans for the day is to remove some of the dents i think dane is busy with this dent over here so i think it's a little bit humpy so he's just going to knock it in and then obviously sand it down and then there is a few other dents on the car that we're going to sort out today as well So 
So what Dana also mentioned early on is that they might have been something underneath here and it might have heat the bonnet up. And as you guys know, with the red VTEC, we explained this, it's better for it then to be in than it for it to be out because obviously we can put body filler in here and obviously smooth it out. The hole is now removed or all welded up close. And what Dane mentioned is that they cut out this whole piece and obviously replicated the area that was removed and then MIG welded a piece in here. Um, you guys also might wonder what these dots are for. I wondered myself, but Dane just explained to me that he uses these dots to simulate these lines over here. So when he sands, you will sand on this side and then there will be another area in the middle and then there will be another area on this side. So that basically just indicates how we need to sand so we can simulate whatever's happening over here, over here as well. And this is also a FN2 Mugen wing that we are fitting for a customer. Also wanted to show you guys how these Mugen wings mount. You have to use your OEM wings bracket. So this bracket's over here. You remove this and it goes onto the FN2 and then you basically bolt it through here. And then you can use Sikaflex or you could make use of some of your OEM hardware as well. Another thing that we are going to fit on the wing is the Mugen badges as well. And then another thing that she also opted in for was the version 2 front lip, which is a little bit more aggressive. As you guys can see over here, looks way more aggressive than the normal slim one that um, the black FN2 has. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna take a second just to show you guys the cool techniques that Dane uses to tape up a car. This he put in the inside and then once the door closed, this little piece stays out here, which is kind of sticky. However, he will also then use um, the tape to go over here and then this will basically connect and keep the overspray plastic as well. guys so we have the whole car wrapped up so moving forward the process now would be to wipe the car down with benzene just so that we can get all the debris of the sanding off the car after that we will be spraying the whole car with ms primer however the areas where we're basically going to discover our patches we are not going to use any thinness so that the thinness is a little bit thicker then when we do the whole car we'll add some thinness and we'll basically have an equal coat of ms primer also known as filler primer. FN2 is all primed up, also known as Nardo Grey. I would say that the outcome is great as far. Dane did mention that he had some slight issues with water coming out of the compressor. So as you guys can see, um, the paint is still very, very wet. But let me just give you guys a quick walk around on the car. This is what uh, the passenger side looks like. And let's go to the driver side. So generally with primer, you would want everything to obviously be level, I would say. And everything at this point needs to have no dents or anything. So as you guys can see, there's no dents, etc. Also this area over here that Dane basically simulated or replicated goes right down. You can't really see it because obviously the primer is a little bit wet. But other than that, we are extremely happy with the outcome. And obviously the next step would be to remove the doors, spray the inside of the doors, etc. And then after that, we will be spraying the car its color. And then after that would be to polish it. I hope you are enjoying the FN2 content this far. And I hope you guys are actually learning a few 
tricks that um, we are obviously showcasing on this car as well. But yeah, I'm gonna end it off here before um, it's load shedding and the light switch off. See you guys in the next video. So guys, so this is just going to be a quick racing simulator update. I finally got myself a racing sim for my steering wheel and my pedals. So the racing sim that I actually went with is called uh, the Playseat Evolution, I think. It is also the Gran Turismo edition. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. So this is the sim that I went with. So as you guys can see, it says Playseat, or it says Gran Turismo. Um, I think it can also fold to the front if you want to like put it away. That's also the reason why I actually went with the seat. The whole idea was to maybe run the Ricardo seat from the EG and the Momo steering wheel as well. That is something that you guys might see in future. But anyway, this is the setup right now. And then also, I do have Kilani set up here for you guys as well. So I'm going to just show you guys a few runs on Kilani. I do have track day set up with a lot of Hondas uh, driving alongside with me as well. So let me just show you you guys that